Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to my channel, Misha's Mantra. If you see I'm in the same outfit, that's because I'm doing back-to-back -back videos. I told you guys I'm trying to get more consistent. So I'm knocking out a few videos in one sitting. So if you're already subscribed, welcome back. If you're not, make sure you hit the subscribe and the notification bell because you are about to get some content. Fall inspires me, y'all. I love fall fashion. I love all things fall and cold weather. We are gonna be getting into my picks uh, for fall footwear. Now, a lot of these are, you know, it's not so much about the brand, but just the type of footwear you can wear. And you probably have a lot of this already in your closet. So don't feel the need to have to run out and buy 20 pairs of shoes just to fit whatever trend you're seeing on social media. We're gonna look at what we already got and kind of work it. So if that sounds like something that interests you, make sure you stay tuned. All right, the first thing we're gonna get into is the chunky boot. There are so many variations of this style from the very high end to the very low end to the middle. We're gonna look at the chunky boot. Now the reason why I love a good chunky boot because I feel that that is one of the most comfortable pair of shoes that you can wear and still look chic and give you some height. Now we're gonna go to my all time favorite, the Doc Martin. This Doc Martin is the Jaden. As you guys know, I wore the crap out of these boots last year. Every look I probably wore had <laughs> these boots on. Now, what I like about them, I kinda already mentioned, they give you height and they don't hurt. They're a classic. While you know a lot of people did run out and buy this boot, I feel very comfortable and feel like this is not dated to wear it right again this fall. This can be worn with, even with the jeans, like I know straight leg jeans, as far as like a skinny jean is kind of fading out. I still have skinny pants. I'm still gonna wear my skinny pants. But what I like about this boot is that you can wear this with skinny pants. You can wear them with like a boyfriend cut jean. You can wear it with a skirt, a dress. You can wear this with about anything. I'm telling you, if you can't figure out how to wear it, Google it, Pinterest it, look it up, and you'll see some sort of inspo. Uh, these boots range, I think, I think these were like 180, if I'm not mistaken. They are very painful initially when you get them, so I definitely um, suggest to kind of break them in as much as you can in the house because the only way to make these boots comfortable is to actually wear them. But I love these boots and this is definitely something that I will continue to wear this fall going into winter. Let's get into another variation of the chunky boot, which is my prized possession, my Bottega Veneta boots that I just recently purchased. For me, this is definitely more on the higher end because these boots ain't cheap. Well, for me, they wasn't cheap. But I really, really wanted these boots. This is like a little mini gift to myself. I got the green because green, as you have watched my previous video, hopefully, is going to be my color for fall, winter. But I love these. These are also another example of how it gives you height, yet it's still very comfortable. I don't feel like my feet will hurt. I have not had an opportunity to wear these, but I am gonna be traveling in October and I do plan to incorporate a lot of my outfits with these boots. Now they are a little heavy, but you don't really feel it. I mean, I shouldn't say that. You can tell they're heavy on your feet, but it's not like a heavy hurt and um, they're very comfortable. Again, gives you that height without, you know, making your feet hurt after a good 30 minutes of wearing them. So the chunky boot, I have the Jadens, I have some Bottegas. Um, there are a ton of examples, like as with anything, once, you know, these are, these type of boots where are everywhere. You can go to Pretty Little Things, Boohoo, I'm sure Fashion Nova, Ego. It's a ton of different sites that have it. I think even Sorel, which I have a pair of Sorel boots, I love those. And um, Coach, I think, has came out with their versions of like a platform chunky boot. But I definitely think this is kind of, for me, replacing that whole Chelsea boot era. Um, it's kind of getting away from like, I don't know, it's just more of a platform, thicker, bolder statement. So 
I love that look and this is definitely something that I'm gonna be wearing in the fall and I think is a really cute staple and can be matched with a lot of different things. The next shoe that I suggest that you wear for fall, winter is gonna be the high top sneaker. Now you'll notice a common theme with all the shoes that I suggest. It is all about comfort. Um, these are my Run Star Hike. I forgot the name, wait, I know I'm saying that name wrong. Hold on, Run Star Hike Hill. They're Converse. <laughs> Run Star Hike High. The Run Star Hike High, these shoes come in so many different colors, like it's crazy. I got the more like classic black ones, well I felt it was more classic, but I've seen khaki green, like an olive green, I've seen prints. I think these are really gonna be cute for fall and winter because not only do you kind of have that support at the ankle, um, it also kind of gives more coverage. You can wear this the same way I would suggest with the boots. You can wear this with a skirt. You can wear this with jeans. You can wear this with a dress. I'm telling you, the possibilities are endless. And these are super comfortable. I have a video where I compared these to the regular Converse. And I'm gonna tell you, I wasn't a fan of Converse like that. But once I put these on, they have really good arch support. And I just love this detailing right here. So yes, I love these shoes and will be rocking these for another um, season. And you can see that I need to clean that up right there. But I also added like some lace jewels, right? To kind of jazz it up a little bit. You guys can see that. Now with that, I'm gonna keep going with the high top um, sneaker. I have my mochas here. I love a good Jordan one. I didn't used to like Jordans at all. And now I cannot get enough of them. So I have these in purple um, that are mids and I have um, a green OG pair and then I have a purple mid pair. So I have a ton of high top sneakers because I think that even in the winter, I mean even in the summer I would wear them but I love a good high top sneaker for winter. I think that it's a really good staple to have and you could pair it with track suits, you could pair it with jeans, just about anything. So chunky boot, high top sneaker, let's get to my next. Last but not least is the more traditional boot. Um, these are old, I got these a while back. These are blue suede boots. As you can see I still have <laughs> the sticker on them but I got them from Ross, they were like $12.99 last season. They come up to, cause I do have bigger calves, they come up to like a little bit across my knee. Um, but I think having a um, pair of boots that are a very specific color, I think it's easy to get like the black. Um, even the white is big now. I see a lot of people are going like with the white or the eggshell, but I really think getting like a suede or you know, patent leather, whatever, but like a colored boot, like a green, you see I have blue, and I really think it's just very rich. Now these were not expensive, these were like $12.99 at Ross, but they're such a staple, and they have such cute detailing, and I have actually a blue trench coat that I wear with this, um, that just makes it pop. So regardless of the cost, they look really cute. Um, again, another kind of traditional boot. These were pretty inexpensive too. Um, this is just kind of a like, it looks very 80s, right? And I don't want to get rid of them because I think they're cute. I matched them up, as you guys saw earlier in my video, with an oversized white shirt and that blue Zara vest that I have. But I thought these were so cute. And um, they're not the most comfortable, I will admit that. But I really like this vibrant, like, cobalt blue and I think it is so cute and such a statement piece um, and they come to like like uh, of course my ankles right here so like mid calf um, super cute I still think these boots are good I know I'm kind of getting away from the sock boots I'm not a fan of the sock boots I think they're still very much a thing I don't think they're like out of style it's just, I don't know, I'm just not a fan of them anymore. Maybe maybe I'll change my mind, but for right now, I'm just not really feeling the sock boot. But I really like this kind of like crocodile, I guess, print um, as far as like the texture and then this bold color. I really like this and I love these suede ones. And the next thing I suggest is any kind of like animal Print. Like this is a snake print, leopard print, um, cheetah print. I really think that these type of boots really hold um, their their value as far as still being very much relevant, you know? 
Um, these were, uh, I caught these on sale at Dillard's. These are Steve Madden. I think I paid like 40, a car would drive by. Anyway, <laughs> I think I paid like 40 or $50 for these. Um, but with the colors like gray, can you see that? Yeah, gray, um, just a, a normal snake print. These can go with a lot of different things. It doesn't necessarily have to be a black or white piece. Um, I think the last time I wore this, I wore this with an oversized shirt with a blue sweater vest. A lot of the looks that I'm showing you were from last year in, you know, quarantine. So I was just piecing together different things and trying not to go crazy and buy stuff. But this was purchased way before quarantine. Um, but these are so cute and they're actually comfortable. As you guys know, that you can get a stiletto heel, but if you're not comfortable in walking those, the lower heel is very much still a thing. So I like that that's still very much um, relevant, that people are still wearing like the lower heel. But for like a dressier boot, these are probably my suggestions. So what you could pull from that is like any kind of like animal print boot um, coming to like mid, you know, calf higher or to a knee boot. I think a knee boot is still gonna be relevant. Um, I think a color, like a bold color, like I said, this blue, um, some that come up a little bit higher, maybe even to your thigh. Um, I think that's very much relevant. And I still, still love the calf, like a true cutoff calf boot. Again, I'm not into the sock boots, so I think sock boots are very much still a thing. I'm just not into them. And just color. I like like pops of color. It does sometimes limit you what you can wear it with, um, but it's always cool to kind of pair up like a blue with a green or, you know, just kind of doing different colors and taking a few more risks, even in the fall and winter. All right. That is my little summary of what I'm gonna be wearing in fall as far as shoe wear. Make sure you stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and there's gonna be more to come.